terror attacks, a refugee crisis, and an economic recovery that refuses to gain momentum. Just some of the challenges facing Europe. And once again, the European Union will, will, face, uh, will face all these challenges at the World Economic Forum. CCTV's Jack Barton reports from Davos. Every year, the World Economic Forum in Davos deals with big issues that often seem far away amid an atmosphere of cocktail parties and skiing. One unavoidable issue that has featured prominently since the Eurozone financial crisis began back in 2009 is, of course, Europe, which is no longer on a slippery slope to an avalanche of financial ruin, but it's putting the brakes on any hope of a true global economic recovery. Europe's economy is recovering, but is again beginning to falter, having reached a peak of 1.5% growth last year. And that's way too slow, and so that, that remains a headache that Europe uh, doesn't manage to have growth above 2%, uh, and th this is also due most probably to a lack of structural reform. But with multiple terror attacks in France last year linked to the Islamic State terrorist group in Syria and Iraq, as well as an influx of refugees, it's not just the economy that Europe and the world need to worry about. The global community will be most concerned about geopolitics around Europe and how it affects Europe and about, for example, the refugee crisis. Then they will be concerned about the economy. In response to the migrant crisis and terror attacks, half a dozen European countries have already reintroduced border controls within what is supposed to be a passport-free zone known as Schengen. There is a concern that Schengen is enormously under pressure um, with all the effects that could have um, on the economy, on the free movement of people, but also of goods, um, but also in general on the European Union, on the state of affairs of the European Union. Solutions remain elusive because most EU member states continue to act on what they perceive to be national interests rather than the common good of the bloc. And Britain's Prime Minister David Cameron will also attend again this year to discuss his country's upcoming referendum on whether to leave the European Union altogether. So once again, there will be plenty of talk here at Davos about whether this will finally be the year that a divided European Union unites around a plan that can prevent any further unpleasant shocks. Jack Barton, CCTV, Davos.